Hello, uh, checking in with the first eight, eight tracks, really, of uh, Michael Crummy's The Innocents, his uh, Newfoundland writer's uh, 2019 novel, which uh, I believe is a, uh, a his, historical novel, well, a history, history novel. It's set in the past, in the past in Newfoundland, um, in one of these small little way stations where um a family a fishing family are and um at the opening of the book um the uh the uh infant infant child martha dies the mother dies shortly after and um a couple of months after that the father dies as well leaving uh ada and everett uh, behind uh, to sort of to fend for themselves. This is this is like um, they're visited by a um, a ship that brings supplies uh, every and and picks up the uh, the uh, herring that they've they've caught like every six months or maybe even more. Can't remember. Um, they're basically you know they have to get through winters and all that on their own. Um, it, it's, um, you know, it's, 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 the book is called The Innocence. And in a lot of ways, well, I mean, they are, they've, they've been born in this cove and have known nothing else. And indeed, the, no, the notable thing is, is that the, the, they have flashbacks to kind of earlier their family life. And when the mother was pregnant with the, the infant Martha, uh, they had um, the thought she was having trouble with her pregnancy and they brought in a, a midwife uh, for for a while and um, that was like notable and it's just like you know to actually have someone someone there um, so the book really does a good job of kind of capturing their mindset um, both the survival but just also sort of the intensity of their sort of young feelings now there's sort of an unavoidable thing in this because there's in a way this is like oh god this is like the blue lagoon but like in newfoundland uh with you know so instead of edenic kind of you know it's it's super rugged it's super hard scrabble but it's also these kids who um they meet uh the beetle who is uh actually that he was formerly uh a um uh, some some kind of religious functionary but he's he's now basically the guy the money guy who comes in and judges like you know what they've got caught and how much supplies that will earn them and what they will get uh and uh you know basically his his ledgers or are, are what kind of they're beholden to and uh he allows them to stay it's like you you want to make a you may you want to make a go of it and it's like yes we do uh, and this is all done only with the brother, the the, the daughter only. The, the Ada always stays on shore. This is men's business, and indeed we're getting these divisions. Uh, you know, they're young kids, but we're already getting the divisions of this is male, this is female. We have like the money, we have him going hunting, uh, her doing the gardening. Um, she gets her period as the, the story goes along, and that is more women's business, which will not be talked about with him. Um, so we're kind of getting this creeping kind of, I don't know if it's lack of innocence. I don't know what you would call it. Complications, adult complications, because they're in the sections we are getting into now, it is their burgeoning sexuality is coming up and they're alone on this island and they don't have anybody else. And they're obviously starting to, their hormones and all that are starting to rev up. And there's the loneliness and, you know, uh, which we'll have to see how this gets handled because this could be um, deeply creepy if not handled extremely well or deeply creepy, exploitative, gross. You know, I know from enough, you know, my own predilections for porn, but how much, how much time the 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 search engine stuff will seem to be like well everyone else likes uh 
uh, it, it says porn, so you'll probably like it too. It's like, no, fuck off with this stuff. <laughs> I want my good clean porn, whatever I consider good clean porn. But so, you know, I don't particularly want that in a sensitively told story about uh, somewhat people, kids who are like, you know, 12 and 14. It's like, ugh, gross. Um, so we will see how that goes. Um, it is we do seem to be kind of pushing that whole kind of thing. And the beetle is like, Oh, you know, your, your mother was of the papist papist religion. And, uh, so, you know, she, you know, was she papist? I can't remember or not, but basically, um, Martha had not been baptized and it's like, and, and the, the, when she, when he comes to help bury them and read over her, he's like, well, she's in heaven now. It's like, well, they're all burned, born in sin. And, you know, it's like, she's in heaven now. She's innocent. And it's like, well, and, you know, he, he wisely does not say anything because I think Ada would have hauled off and fucking beat the shit out of the guy. But we're, we're definitely, it seems, this seems to be, ah, I guess, you know, unsurprisingly for a novel called The Innocence, there we have a deep um, thing about what is innocent in there. And Ada is somebody who says, who feels that she's sort of carrying Martha with her. She, when, when she was an infant and she was taking care of her, she would talk to her constantly, have run up a kind of a con constant conversation. Now that she's gone, she does not do that with Everett, but she does seem to still have that kind of conversation with Martha, though Martha doesn't answer back. So it's just more like she feels her presence with her. And that, you know, she's one of the reasons why they haven't, they didn't leave with the supply ship is that uh, Edo's like, we're never leaving Martha. We can't leave Martha. And, you know, Everett doesn't, want, you know, who doesn't have that kind of, that connection or that feeling is like, but also doesn't want to argue with her. It's like, so it's like, well, I'll try and make a go of it. And, you know, if we don't make a go of it, well, then you'll probably, she'll probably see sense. But... As it goes along, they actually are making a go of it. They actually are good at it. Um, we've had kind of a brief excitement of a, a shipwreck. And, you know, this is a hard scrabble life. If there's a shipwreck, you know, people have died. But you, you scoop up all the all the goods, anything, all the supplies, anything you can to, to just get yourself to, to be able to survive on this, on this place. Um, though, interestingly enough, they come across what I think is a native burial site and they're like, okay, this is a native bear. This is, this is, this is a cemetery and they put everything back. That's different than salvage. So they've got, you know, that, that knowledge of the right and wrong, which, you know, the, the, What's it? The, the, the eating of the fruit of the, the tree of the, the knowledge of good and evil. It's like, they know what good and evil is already. So, you know, how much there's that kind of an innocence, which is not there anymore. If that is an innocence, that would like, you know, that's, I guess that you could say that'd be an animal who would not know to dig up a grave and, and plunder, plunder a thing because like, yeah, you wouldn't say a, bear was evil for plundering a grave much you know not being able to distinguish between but they've got that knowledge i don't know where that came from but um yeah yeah it's really well written um you know it, it's it, it's it's like you know it's a it's a hushed interior story of these two and we're kind of we go back and forth between them but we we really get kind of a sense of them um and get their voices uh, it's good having an audiobook because you know while the the narration is done in standard English, the uh, the dialogue is you know the the reader is doing it with uh, the a Newfoundland Newfoundland accent, which is way more than I could ever do as someone coming from all the way across on the other coast, and uh, being an interior boy actually at heart. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got so far. My only reservations are. Okay, how how far are we going to go down the whole, you know, young 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 people together alone without anyone else to get the rocks off with, and you know how how will that be handled, and will it be handled in an exploitive way or not? I have a feeling it won't because uh, I, I I heard about the book from uh, a Canadian uh, 
thing. And I think she, that she, she had a couple of kind of quim qualms about the whole, their maybe potentially incestuous relationship, but I think it worked despite that. So I'm definitely willing to continue on with it. All right. That's all I have for right now. Ciao.